This week on In Building Design, Beyond Stone is literally coming to us. We'll tour their showroom on wheels, simulate a rainstorm in the studio, and find out why Ken is dressed like one of the village people. It's all happening here, right now. Welcome to In Building Design. I'm Rob McKay, and with us as always is our resident new guy, Ken. Hey. Hey, and today we're talking Beyond Stone. We're talking with Beyond Stone specialist, Paul Hardigan. Hey, Paul. How's it going? Thanks for being here. Looks like you, uh, up, you brought us a little treat. Normally we start the show inside the, inside the studio. Tell us what you got us. What we have here is we have a, a trailer that has a showroom in it. What we do is we set up appointments for architects, people on job sites, homeowners, you know, a lot of different types of people. And what we can do is we can bring them right into the trailer, show them the colors, show them our working wall. We actually have a working wall in here that we literally do hands on. That's awesome. So and I think you're losing the element of surprise though. I think maybe you should just pull up like the ice cream man and <laughs> yeah. you know, really surprise them. Like they didn't know that they were interested in Beyond Stone. True. And now they are. Well, a lot of people will look at this and go, wow, I never knew what it really looks like from a book. Yep. So we can really take them through the actual uh, trailer. I think we'll get into this a little bit later on and probably show Ken how to install this himself, right? I knew that was coming. Oh, well, but, good. But we've got a little tradition here on the show. We like to kick off every episode asking our guests to tell us a little bit about yourself, but we gotta, we're gonna put you up to a challenge. Okay. Can you do it in 15 seconds or less? I don't know, I'm a talker. Are you up to the task? Uh, we'll cut maybe. You we'll, well, we'll hold you Ready? to 15 seconds. I'm not Set, sure. Go. Okay, well, we're gonna start at the basics. I used to be on the beach and I used to put rocks in the back of my Tonka truck, rolling it around and rolling it around, putting all the stuff in there. Then finally what happened? I got the most incredible job of driving a trailer and a real truck, putting stone and rolling around all over the place. That, so, I mean, is that 15 seconds? That was, that was like 16 and a half. Okay. But you know, I'll tell you what, I do, I do love it in a, in a good story when someone's just like, I was a kid, I liked rocks, and then a bunch of other stuff happened, and here I am. And here we like, are. That's it, that's With all stone. you need to know. Hey, nice job. I think you've earned yourself a beer. So, oh. wanna go inside and get one? Sure. All right, let's talk more. Come on. All, all right, right. No, yeah, just go ahead, right. I'll lock right. up, no right. problem. Nice. Nice work. Yeah. Ooh, oh, oh, check it out. I mean, I as promised. Yeah. A little You're bit of hard there. work out there. I'm always there. there, but never there. Oh, wait a minute. No, never, never there. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, shocking, shocking. Paul's on the can. Yep. Mm. One day. Yeah, no. Stop. Oh, I, I that's think next. That might be next. That'd be next. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm where... It's going to be where, the D team. I'm where... Cheers. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, we'll see. We'll Cheers. See. Hi. Cheers. See how much I contribute today. But we're here to talk about Beyond Stone today. Beyond Stone is a mechanically attached stone. So what does that mean? It goes up a little bit differently than traditional stone. So traditional stone, you have you know, individual stones that you'll mix up mortar with, put the mortar on the back of the uh, stone and apply it to the wall, which takes a little bit of artistry and there's some extra skill that's involved in that. Beyond Stone is a little bit different, right? Yeah. So Beyond Stone is a panel, 12 by 24, and uh, the way that it goes up on the wall is it has a flange across the top that you attach the screws through. So the, the thing about this is it's got a tongue and groove, kind of similar to flooring. You know how you have tongue sure. and groove in the flooring? But you just apply this to the wall. You just put it and you screw it up. So super easy to install, uh, meaning, you know, just about anybody can install this. Uh, from a, from a high-end DIYer, right, yeah. to a weekend warrior kind of person, to a, a respected trade that's got the tools and equipment sure. to install something like sure. this. Sure. So the beauty of this is it takes very, very few tools. Um, you just kind of get a tile saw, a grinder, you know, with a diamond blade on there, a screw gun, your tape measure, and a level, and you're off to the races. That's awesome. So Yeah, that, 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 that what makes me very happy about Beyond Stone. I personally don't like dealing with mortar. It makes me nervous because I always feel like, I'm running out of time. So I'm just gonna have like a bucket. It's just like solid, like, oh, I wasted too much time on my lunch or something. Right. But and that's okay, leave the mortar to the pros, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you right. wanna go tackle a project like this at your own home, yeah. you know, this is something that you could probably do. Could do. So, whoa, probably. You know I mean? So what it sounds like here, what well, anyway, what I think it sounds like is that it's foolproof. Ooh. It's foolproof. Foolproof. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. anybody can put it up. Should we uh, put Ken to the Pretty test? Pretty much. I think the new guy can actually do it. You want to try really it? I really do. As long as the test is pass fail. Oh, absolutely. I don't want to like walk out here with a C. Right. I'm no. here to help. Okay. All right. All Let's right, put cool. you up to the test. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So now is time for some fun. We've got Ken. He's all ready. Look at you. Woo. Easy there, cowboy. All dressed, ready to go. He's got a, his Man. tool belt on. 
He's got his uh, safety glasses. So we've already started a little bit, but we're gonna kind of give you a sneak peek here. So the most important part about starting the job right is with the starter strip. And you can see here, this goes at the base of the wall. And this keeps all of those first row of panels nice and level and even for the rest of the project. So it's all about starting the job right. So we've gone ahead and laid out some panels or ahead for Ken to get installed up there. So that's part of the ease of installation. The flexibility of this product is, if you have a 716, say, say whatever you have behind here, you have an OSB or your plywood, what you're gonna do is you only need two to three fasteners and it doesn't have to hit the stud. That's what makes it so easy. Yep. You get that starter strip level, look at, He's off to the races right now. So you see how that just kind of yeah. slid in there? There's other products on the market that that isn't as smooth. So can you bring it back before you screw it sure. in? Just kind of slide it this way. Yeah. And you can see that if you want to get that panel in place, super easy. The friction no is friction. all in the plastic. Look at that. Boom. There isn't any friction. That's the main thing. Look at how easy that goes up on yeah. the wall. So we'll talk more about it later, but really what, what kind of makes that happen is that D-Rain system. And it's not only, uh, it's got some functions for, for water um, management, but oh, it is the key element nice. to holding this panel up. Hon honestly, I can just keep going. You could. I could. So two square feet per panel, and you just yep. put up four panels. You just put up eight square feet in a minute. Hey. It's always good to stand back and check your work. Yeah. I think this looks great. Definitely. I was just gonna say that, I mean, this is probably the classiest this wall's ever looked. Oh, I would agree. <laughs> I know, yeah. With a classy, uh, classy man who uh, oh, assembled yeah. it for us. Well, I mean. And he's got yeah. a tool belt on it. Look at this thing. I'm a thing, cowboy. Huh? I know. Love it. Yeah, look, at it. I'm, not, I'm not even using the factory made notches anymore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know, See so that? Slick. You get a workout yeah. and you get to the, put the stone up. It's easy. That's Take awesome. it from me. All right, so we alluded to it a little bit on the wall when Ken was doing such a fine job putting up the, uh, the, the stone. Amazing. Nice job. Thank you, thank um, you very much. We talked about the D-Rain system or the drain system, and that's what really the magic is behind this stone. You've got this great looking stone up front, which you're gonna see every day, but there's something a little bit more behind the stone. Um, you doing okay over there? I'm all right. You can put it down if you like. Thank you very much. All right, go ahead. No, great. D-Rain or drain system. Yes is the magic. Tell it, us why. Absolutely. Because, hey, nobody wants moisture in your wall. No. Mold, uh, moisture gets in there. We want to be able to get everything out of the wall. We want it to dry. Yes. The D-Rain system is comprised of a couple different things. Kind of a gutter and downspout system. So if you think about on your home, you've got the gutters across the top. The downspouts let the water yep. down off the roof. And another beautiful thing about this is we talked about the tongue and groove at another point, but what this does is if you move this panel, these all line up in the wall. No, it's great. So it's kind of like a no brainer. So it's always going to work. So if we, you know, now it's raining, right? It's so raining, pretend rain. it's raining. Look it rain, up. So rain. if we pour Let's water down rain. into the system here, so water's going to get in between those joints and grooves, right? But the one thing you want to make sure that happens is that it exits the wall. Well, so look at is. that. Look at that. It's okay. actually doing it right there. Is it getting on the back of the stone? No, no it's not. not. No, it's not. So the back of the stone would be your house wall and you don't want to get that wet. That's right. Oh, not I hate mold so much. Mold, no. it's just like, it's such a cheat. It you is. don't even know it's there until it's bad. No, and it's bad and it can it can really ruin not only your day, but ruin a lot of your home. I mean, so, so you can see lungs. it just runs right out of the wall. You know what, this is the back side. You're actually seeing what's happening inside the wall. When the stone is, is done in these tongue and grooves, if the stone is moved either way, these channels all line up to the ones below it. Okay, so that'll that'll go from here, and right. the next stone, it'll just right. connect like a little chute. Exactly. Sure. All the way and, down. And so, all the gutters line up. So when you do it in a sample setting with one panel, it's not the complete right. uh, system, so it might not work. No, exactly. you have you have to extrapolate with your mind. You have to, but you can you can get the override uh, idea that right. uh, works. So, and I can attest that is that is dry. It is it's very right. dry. Fifty year warranty, dry home. I mean, you can't get any better than Every that. Every single panel has a D rain system attached. Oh, <laughs> you know what that is? It's time for hot off the facts. Oh, I thought it was for another beer. <laughs> hey, thank you, yep. sir. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. I'll tell you what, you've done such a fine job. Oh. We only have one question. I checked it twice, I checked it twice. Our one question that we've got for you is from Brad in Atomic City, Iowa. Okay. I don't know where that is. I have not Brad, been there. You gotta come see We him. can go there if we need to. Yeah. All right, seriously, like Brad okay. wants to know, All right. how do I make corners with Beyond Stone? We didn't touch on that. That is a good question. 
And I think we have good, a good questions. Answer. Have good answers. Oh, yeah. look at absolutely. That. I like you. you can't prepare. So, you read the facts. You can't prepare. I read the facts. He's yeah. a little pre. So, so, right so the one on the thing is, is you're taking it from here. Yeah. One panel does it all. Okay. So we have inside and we have outside corner. Okay. Yeah. So there's little notches that are in the panels that yep. tell you where to trim the plastic off. Okay. I was going to say because that. that looks trimmed. Did a little pre order disclosure. First of all, before we'll flip it around, right? So that's an outside corner, right? Or you can go ahead and do an inside corner. Yeah. What's really nice about it is you just need one panel. You don't need to order inside corners. You don't need, you know, the outside corners. It One panel does it all. All you have to do is figure out what your square footage is. You don't have to start going into this mathematical thing about corners. So what, what do you use to trim that? I mean, obviously a saw to cut. So the yeah, stone, so but you're... people use a, like a hand grinder, right? Yeah, to kind hand of trim the back and, and snips. The stone off. And, and some snips can just cut that because yeah. it, this right here you would just cut this little bit of a plastic off of here just makes it really smooth and easy to do very very simple and so you easy. don't have to measure the manufacturers done no. some really unique stuff with notching kind of reference points on right. cut in a half and do right. all those different things it's it's integrated right in the panel itself so it it makes it very, very easy especially for your do-it-yourself this seems even easier than doing um, trim Yes. yes, it is because you don't have to get a miter saw and do it. It's already done for you. It's right, done. it just snips. Yep. Just snips. Look at snips. That. Okay. Awesome. Well, hey. Uh, uh, no, thanks, you know, Brad. You know what? Hey, Brad. I, I oh. actually have a question of my own. Oh boy, I don't know where it's going to go. Hot on my brain, Paul. Uh -oh. Ready? Hot on my brain. These scare me. I want to know because we didn't get to it when we were at the trailer. Okay. Uh, how do I get the trailer? I mean maybe for my next party, but for, for a job site, like where do I go to get the trailer to come to me? So what you have to do is any of the people that we sell through any of our dis distributors can get a hold of me or you can get a hold of InStone. There's a lot of great resources on InStoneCo.com. Oh, absolutely. Either on our website or even our YouTube channel. You can go watch some videos ahead of time. We'll show you how to install it. So you can have that there by your side on your phone and kind of work along, not only with the manufacturer's installation instructions, but with the videos we've created to kind of help support someone like you to put this up on there and make sure you've got the confidence to put it up on your own. And I think if anyone sees the Beyond Stone trailer in the wild, you should take a picture and, and tag it. Yeah, what, yeah, definitely. I think we should. I think this would be fun. It'd be like the Oscar Mayer Wiener truck. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's make it. Let's make it viral. I like that. With some, with some ice cream cool. music. Uh, da 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 like it. Yeah, I like it. the ice cream man behind it. So thanks, Ken, for that question. Um, how do we, uh, do we crump? I'm just oh yeah, just, I'll, I'll just throw myself out. Perfect. Yeah. All right, remember, if you have questions for us, you can fax them to us at 708-371-0686. And who knows, maybe your question could be next on Hot Off The Facts. All right, so we covered a lot today, Paul. I really appreciate you yeah. being here. Uh, we like to wrap up every episode with asking our guests a question about themselves. Yeah. Question for you is, when was the last time you tried something new and what was it? Um. Wow. That's a loaded question, but it is. Hey, um, I've just started doing a lot of kind of yoga stretching kind of stuff. Nice. Because <laughs> you see, in my line of work, yep. there's a lot of sitting and there's a lot of movement and squatting. I just had to get with it, man. Had to try to start figuring out how I'm going to make my back stronger so I can continue to do what I love. Dude, that is a great idea. And I'm sorry I just called you dude. That's okay. I'm coming But I think since you're doing yoga, you're probably getting into the whole dude <laughs> thing. Yeah. Well. Um, that's awesome. That's a smart idea. That is. What can I, I love, say? You know what? I might yeah. learn, learn a little bit about that myself. Yeah. I could, uh, I could uh, shed some, uh, shed, shed some poundage. Maybe there. next time we'll do a competition as to who can touch their toes. I like and it. Paul would win. I like yeah. it. Paul would win. So, Paul, thanks for sharing that with us. I appreciate you being here today. Hey, Ken, I appreciate you uh, kind of being our uh, our demo guy. Thank putting you. That up there. You Thank you. It was a fun. job. Thanks for being with us, and we hope you join us next time on In Building Design.